gentlemen, this is not clickbait because I was the one driving the car and it still amazes me to this day how I was allowed to do this. I came across this video looking through my old uploads and it was unlisted. So I wanted to kind of make it public because this is a really cool driving experience for me. And this was like the big like moment of when I said, this is why I want to work really hard and this is why I want to own a Lamborghini one day. A quick story time, just because the background of this video is kind of what makes it crazy. So I was 18 years old when this all happened and like I was still just a young unbearded child. As you can see in the video, I just graduated high school. This was the July after my graduation from high school. So we did a family vacation. We went to Italy. The thing is, this guy was right across from the Lamborghini factory. So there's like a Lamborghini factory, a museum. It's all in the city of Modena. So it's called the Bull Bar right across. They have food. They had a couple, you know, refreshments. They had this beautiful 2015 Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4 just sitting there. And I was like, wow, that's cool. And my parents surprised me because they were like, congrats, like you get to drive it if this all works out. I'm like, what do you mean? Like I get to drive, like that's my dream at this point. I'm an 18 year old kid, just like, oh, I get to drive a Lamborghini. I talked to this guy and he was like, yeah, like, like we can make it happen. And my parents were kind of talking to him a little bit. I was a little confused because he looked concerned. Turns out they had this rule that said you needed one year driving experience in Italy before you could take it on a test drive. Obviously I did not take driver's training in Italy. The steering wheel's on the left side of the car. So there's not a huge learning curve in terms of that, even though it's a 600 horsepower supercar. But I was like, hey, I have two years of driving experience in the US, because I was 18 at this point. So they were like, yeah, sorry, like you gotta be 19 to drive the car. Did a little negotiating. Anyways, it ended up working out. So I think the most horsepower I've ever driven in a car is like 300 at this point. So I am right away just doubling that. And I thought I was gonna maybe take, you know, 45 miles an hour on a highway or something, just kind of get behind the wheel, get the feel for it, all that. But no, Mateo, Mateo, the guy in the passenger seat was like, what do you wanna do? You wanna take it zero to 60? You wanna get the paddle shifters? Like, let's really race this thing. I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's your car if you say so. I'm not gonna argue that because it's your car, you know? So right out of the parking lot, like the first experience ever behind the wheel, I just pull off, I'm going slow. We're in strata mode, which is like the street. Uh, it's not the sport or race mode. So the dashboard was in kilometers per hour. Obviously with a quick calculation, you can see how fast I went. And at the end of the gears, you can kind of gauge uh, based off other videos. So I pull out, I may be going 25, 30 miles an hour right in front of the Lamborghini factory. So this is literally like the road. It goes into the middle of the city. And then we take a left turn and it's some open Italian back roads. And at this point I'm like, Am I really gonna be able to like rip this thing? Cause I want to get the full experience. Eventually he was just like, yeah, like let's stop. He turns on the paddle shifters. I had some fun with those. I went zero to 60 twice in this car. I did not launch it because apparently that was too dangerous. Even though later in the video, you'll see uh, we went pretty fast. I did not launch the car. We went zero to 62 times just off like a like a stop like i just mashed the pedal and went as fast as i could those actually ended up being like zero to 90s just because I, I took it all the way through third gear zero to 60 and that thing throws you back it's got a super fast transmission it's obviously the dual clutch uh nothing like the single in the aventador so it wasn't throwing me back but on the other end of that i was just pinned the entire time it was so fun zero to 60 was just the best part of this entire thing you'll see right now is when I took this car. So we were coming off a bridge and I was going maybe 30 miles an hour and he was like, hit it. And I did. I absolutely crushed this thing. Foot to the floor, jumped up into second gear and I just zoom. to 140 miles an hour. And that was, I was terrified. I was white knuckling. The windows were open the entire time in the car. So I was like pooping my pants going 140 on an Italian back road in a super car at 18 years old. Obviously I'm smiling ear to ear. My knuckles are white grabbing the steering wheel, but this was the most outrageous car experience I have ever had. I've driven pretty fast on highways for rallies and stuff, but a Lamborghini is a completely different game and this is really what sparked my 
just passion for supercars. And so obviously I was a car guy before this happened, but this experience really made things clear as glass for me as far as what I want in the future, why you should work really hard towards your goals, make your dreams goals, Time frame what you want it, make it possible, write out your goals and smash them. Honestly, like this isn't supposed to be like a motivational speech or video or anything like that. Mostly just me sharing what really happened that day because I don't tell this story a lot because the video I put is unlisted. I found it today and I wanted to resurface it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, this was really fun for me and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.